These guys are crazy. <laughs> Let's go, baby! We're gonna go meet up with DVO and we're gonna go to Lake Cohia. Julian, president of DVO, man, he's gonna show us how it's done today in Lake Cohia. We like to wrap them up in foil, put your favorite seasonings on them. I think I found a way into this garden. So I did find a glitch in your security. Yeah, yeah, guys, he's a fishing channel, but you know what? Gotta eat. We gotta eat. Late, he just in the face. Always stay draped in the fear of God. Why you so afraid? What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Outdoor Junkies, and today. Oh my god, I am so pumped. We are going to meet up with the president of DVO, Julian. Shout out to you, man. Uh, we're going to be hitting up this local lake. A lot of the locals have been asking me to uh, do an episode here. So we're going to go meet up with DVO and we're going to go to Lake Cohia. But the really cool thing about it is going to be some other DVO members there. And we're just going to be hanging out. And uh, we're going to see how that goes, man. So I'm super pumped about doing this episode. It's been quite a while I've been wanting to do this episode. So, um super juiced up super pumped it is a super high pressured lake and we're gonna see how we do today they just did stock it with trout obviously guys we're gonna try to hook up to some nice uh giant trout man that's that's really the goal right and we're just gonna be hanging out i'm not sure exactly what we're gonna be throwing and what we're gonna be uh using exactly quite yet i'm gonna go ahead and get the locals advice on that obviously so if you guys are new to this channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button definitely hit that notification bell guys if you guys do like this kind of content go ahead and smash that thumbs up i appreciate each and every one of you guys i'll see you guys out on the water nobody switch on me or it's gonna get a bit stormy i know it's all on me yeah yeah lately i feel like an edit they tell me watch out but it's not about a paddock yet i got a stack of this money the fuck is you talking about i gotta get it now all of the family gonna eat when i get on my feet so best watch where you stepping now Way beyond beast and J-Ray with the skins No, they can't go and fuck with a business now nah. Gave it a minute, I had to retreat But I'm back here to get more I got some money, some bitches that love me But I gotta get more I gotta get more, yeah I gotta get more, yeah so I gotta get more, yeah I gotta get more What is up guys, we just made it to Lake Cohia And look who we got here Guess who folks? Julian, president of DVO, man, he's gonna show us how it's done today in Lake Cohia. Man, I'll tell you what, it's been slow <laughs> since Stock Day Wednesday. You know, we've, we've got a lot of local folks that come out now, and they usually give me a report when they do. And we're talking fishermen that've been here for years. So far, it's only been three trout caught since Wednesday. So let's see if we can't open up that. But it's never a grind when we're out here. I'm outdoors. Enjoying the outdoors. We got good That's health. That's we're, everything's good. Families are good. We got a bunch of uh, DVO members here as well. So a lot of them I haven't got, I haven't had the pleasure to meet so i'm super pumped about that and uh, we're just gonna be out here fishing and having a good day huh yeah let's do it all right guys stay tuned this money the fuck is you talking about i gotta get it now all of the family gonna eat when i get on my feet so best watch where you stepping now way beyond peace and j-ray with the skins no they can't go and fuck with a business now all right we got uh we got our first fish hooked up here man these guys are crazy <laughs> let's go baby Awesome. Here we go. That's right. Oh, finally, yeah. bro. Hey. First trout of the not morning. Even yours, wait. Come on, Nick. Hey, it's mine. It's mine. <laughs> it's it's mine. <laughs> Look it. Take your hook off. What? <laughs> Take your hook off. You That's take your awesome. hook off. Mine's up on top. Mine, no, your hook's up here. Yeah, up there. Ah, I'm not even. Okay, guys. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, bit the skunk, boys. Oh, yeah. I told you guys, this spot, G. That's awesome. Boom. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Good job. Good oh, job. Yeah. Thank you, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, we got that. Gotcha. DVO, baby. DVO style. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is your fool. I'm telling you. 
<laughs> oh, but it's going on the grill, whoever it is. Yeah, oh, nice time. Cook that bad boy. We're out here fishing for some trout, and uh, one of the guys caught one, so that's pretty awesome. Um, so just to let you guys know, we're at Lake Cohia, a little lake uh, right around in our town here, and um, chilling out with the DVO guys, just chilling, kicking it back, and uh, drinking some beers. So I want to go ahead and let you guys know what I'm tossing out here. I'm throwing out these uh, Berkeley Gulps salmon eggs, white, floating. So uh, that's the one rig I'm using with a uh, four pound on a filament and uh, just a little slide weight on there, nothing crazy. And uh, that's our first rig. All right guys, and for our second bait, we're gonna be using those uh, power baits scented. And uh, these are the trout nuggets. That's what we're gonna be throwing on our second rod. Our second rod has a uh, braid, a leader on there of some uh, fluorocarbon Two, two pound line so we're gonna try that out and that's gonna be our second rod setup all right guys the warden a DVO is gonna show properly show us how to gut and clean a trout right out of the lake right out of the lake and into the grill or all onto right. the grill all right folks this is just a basic how-to the way I do it um, a lot of us, we have different methods and whatnot. All right, you guys don't like the humane thing. You might want to close your eyes for a little bit. <laughs> Off with the head. All right. A lot of people, they like to come from the hole up. I like to cut it off. That way, he's not flopping around anymore. You need to be careful with that there, the knife. Any knife you use, just come up from, the, from there. I think I need to sharpen my knife here. Hmm. All right, nice little cut. He's still flopping around a tad. <laughs> pull out the insides there. What you do, if you're lucky enough, you can pull all all out in one Earth. shot. Good old Lake Kauai. We don't have fish cleaning tables, which we're fighting to get as DVO. We get them, but if not, until then, we throw them in the water. There you go. Clean out the bloodline. Put your finger there. Roll that bad boy up. There's your bloodline. Into the water. Basically wash that out. And a lot, of, a lot of us folks, we like to wrap them up in foil, put your favorite seasonings on them, put them over the grill, good to go for, you know, uh, after a little bit. Some of us, we fillet them. Only thing is, with trout, you have pin bones coming down. So when you open it up, those pin bones are in there. After you take the rib bones off, if you were to slice at a 45 degree angle on both sides of the pin bones, it'll come out in one easy slice and it's all meat after that. Oh. Um, maybe we'll do a more intense video later on in the season when we get a little bigger trout so you can actually see all that good fun stuff. But other than that, just a little wash out here, clean out the bloodline a little bit better and we're good to go. That's awesome. So we're just out here chilling out right now. Um, awesome people, man. DVO is a really, really awesome awesome community man you guys gotta check these guys out on facebook because uh you know what they really are a really good community and good people um the family's out here barbecuing and it's just uh it's a perfect day man i couldn't ask for anything better so hey man we're gonna keep uh we're gonna keep our lines wet and see how we do so make sure you guys stay tuned all right julian man how we doing out here today oh uh, well I'm, I'm just dealing with the tangle from earlier today <laughs> i was out jigging and when you're carrying an extra rod in your backpack, you gotta be careful when you're flipping it because when you go back, it's gonna hit and it's gonna make this mess. So just cleaning up my mess. There you go. But having fun, good times, you know. Awesome. What do we got? Uh, what is DVO got cooking up over here? Got some carne asada. Oh, got man. the fish already on the grill. Got some oh, fresh wow. carne asada. Look at that. Throw some fresh one right now. That's what chicken. I'm talking about. Out here with the family on the grill. This is what it's all about, man. This is what fishing is all about. Everybody's got your rod set up. Yeah. Beautiful day out here in uh, Lake Cohia. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. That looks okay. nice. That's serious business. Man. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, obviously, we are fishing at a lake. But on the other side of this lake, um, I'm going to show you what's on the other side of this lake, which is pretty freaking awesome. I, uh, I did see a lake in here, guys. I seen a pond in this golf course. You know what that means? You know what that means? We gotta try to find a glitch so we can try to get in this place. 
you guys know me in golf courses, man. It's like, when I see it, it's like donkey heaven. I know there's some monsters in there. Okay, we gotta go ahead and get in that golf course. I think I found a way into this golf course, so. I did find a glitch in their security. So uh, you know what that means. We're gonna definitely have to capitalize on that, so. Daddy. Look at this. Daddy. Going down over here. <laughs> What you got in there, man? Oh, ready to Carne go. Asada. Oh, there you go. Guacamole. There it is. A little guacamole, and we're, we're in it. Guacamole, salsa, lemon. That's there how we go. do it. That's <laughs> awesome, man. Look at this, guys. Right there, look at that. A little lime on that bad boy. Cooking it up out here. Burritos. Oh, deal. Oh, ho. Getting yeah. down. <laughs> Look at that guys, there's a fishing channel, but you know what? Gotta we eat. Must be, we gotta eat. Gotta eat and look at this. Fish. Wow guys, look at that. All I gotta say is oh my god. And I feel bad I can't give you any right now, guys. I wish you guys can have some of this. Guys. Mm. Alright guys, so there you have it. There's today's vid. Um what a great time, what a great experience. Yeah, I would have liked to hooked up to a trout, but you know what, man? Um, I met some new friends today, DVO once again. Shout out to all you guys, shout out to all the members, man. You guys are some really, really good people. Really, really good community of people, man. And uh, you know what, dude, they very humble and, and very good people. And uh, that's something hard to find in, you know, in, in a lot of these groups, you know. Um, one thing I want to say again, thank you, Julian. Shout out to you, man, for uh, inviting me out and uh, fish with you guys. You, I know this is an episode we've been trying to do for a little bit. Um, one thing I wanted to tell you guys that I didn't mention in the video. So I guess the best time to fish this place is the first week of stock. The second week starts to slow down. It's still You can still maybe pop a couple off. But ideally, the day of stock is the best time to fish here. And that first week is supposed to be really, really good. Um, the only reason why it only lasts two weeks is because of the amount of, the amount of trout that they're stocking here. It's really not a big amount. And uh, they get caught and people take them home and there you go. It slows down the fishing, obviously. But uh, I think there's another one in, in like another two to three weeks. There's another stock. I will be here, rise and shine early. And uh, we're going to try that out. But... Overall, it was an awesome day. Got to meet a lot of the members, which is really dope. And uh, if you guys do like these kind of videos, go ahead, leave a comment below and let me know if you guys want to see some more collabs with DVO or maybe do some more lake fishing. I know today we got skunked. Thank God one of the members caught one. So overall, I'm super, I'm super, uh, super happy. I got to meet a bunch of good people. And uh, it was a fun day out here barbecuing, really family-oriented people, man, just out there with the kids. And that's what it's all about. So with all that stuff said, guys, if you guys are new to this channel, what are you guys doing? Go ahead, hit that little red button that says subscribe on it. Definitely hit that notification bell. I upload videos every single Wednesday, but you guys need to hit that notification bell just because I throw in some bonus videos that are during the week that people do not know. If you guys did like this video, smash that thumbs up so I can give you another one. Appreciate each and every one of you guys. It just get lonely in the stress. No, I'm a hold a rice in my hand. Might just go turn her eyes to a fan. Yeah, necessity never no greed. No, I'm worth more than it seems. You average, my shit is mean Cause I keep a chip on me Pray nobody switch on me Or it's gon' get a bit storm me I know it's all on me Yeah, yeah Lately I feel like an edit They tell me watch out But it's not on a pedic